Hi guys, and welcome back to Trev's Travels by Narrowboat. This is the final part in my recap of 2020, and this is entirely filmed on the South Oxford Canal. Very picturesque part of the world, and the canal contours around a lot of the Oxfordshire countryside, following close to the River Cherwell. I was really lucky that I was there in September, early October, and the weather was absolutely fantastic. I had sunshine just about every day, and I really, really thoroughly enjoyed it. So this trip takes us from Braunston. I leave from the boathouse at Braunston, and the final part, the final destination of this trip is Lower Hayford. So let's sit back, enjoy this recap of some fantastic countryside and some wonderful, wonderful weather. I moored here at the boathouse overnight. I wish to use their Wi-Fi as signals in Bronson are pretty awful. Anyway, we're now off and we're on our way to Napton on the Hill. As we move gracefully down the South Oxford Canal, I guess it's fine having an offside mooring like this with no access, as long as you've got one of these to get to and from your boat. Here we have probably the most famous pub on the South Oxford Canal, The Folly at Napton. The Folly is not the only place you can get alcoholic beverages from these days. There's also Napton Cidery. But if you don't want to walk up into the village to Napton Cidery, they actually serve their cider here at The Folly. Very, very good cider it is too. As we ascend to Naps and Locks, we're in for a little bit of a surprise. As I go through Lock 3 here, I believe it is, look what's in the field next to the lock. Yes, that is water buffalo. On the left here is the old engine house arm, which used to pump water from an engine house at the end of it, to the summit here of Napton Locks. Now there's just a few moorings along it, but one day's time it was navigable. As we pass this farmhouse now, on this very sharp bend, We've just cleared Marston Dole's Locks, which brings us to the summit of the Oxford Canal. Now as we pass the only known Indian reservation on the Oxford Canal, not really, it's actually a holiday let. This is the new road bridge at Fenny Compton. And in the distance there is the original road bridge at Fenny Compton. I'm going to moor up here for a couple of days because I need to go to the local marina and use some of their facilities, which won't open now till Monday. And it's Saturday today. I was hoping that whilst I was moored here at Fenny Compton, I could take advantage of the laundriette at the pub. But to no avail, of course it was closed, and we know why it was closed. The Wharf Inn. I think it used to have a different name, but I can't remember what now. Property. 
must be one of the most quintessential English villages along the South Oxford Canal. It typifies what one would consider to be the perfect English village setting. Canals, pubs and an old church. After leaving Cropperdy, I head for Banbury, where there's an awful lot of construction going on. They're building a new cinema, restaurants and shops right along the canal frontage. I walk around the old part of town, which you can see on one of my other videos, Banbury Off The Cut. Very interesting walk it is too where I show you Banbury Cross and, of course, the famous Cock Horse. After leaving Banbury, I move on down the canal through the pretty little village of Ainho, and just after Ainho, you come to this, the famous Somerton Deep Lock. It's not the deepest lock on the canal system, it's the deepest on the Oxford Canal. And what makes it quite awkward for a lot of people is the fact that the canal company at the time when building it ran out of money and the bottom lock gates are single lock gates, which are quite heavy. There's my boat, ready to go down Somerton Deep Lock. This bridge and lock is between Upper and Lower Hayford, where I turned around and headed back up the canal. I'm heading back up right here. On the way back, I spotted this boat. Well, actually, they spotted me, the subscribers of the channel. What's your names? This is Darren. Try and give us a follow. I will do. This will be come on our trainers today. Super. <laughs> well, that's the last in my recap series of 2020. Well, today I believe is the 2nd of January anyway. So I hope you enjoyed it. They were fun to make. Actually, it brought back a lot of lovely memories to me of places I've been. And I hope it did to you as well. I hope you all have a great new year. I know we're in lockdown and I know we're going to struggle for a while. But hopefully I'll soon be back out on the cut bringing you new videos. Until then, goodbye and have a great new year. Trevor out.